Hello guys, uh, my name is Vijay. I am working as Senior Solution Consultant in Nebisero. In this session, let us discuss about how to deploy to Cloud Hub using Mule Map and Plugin and through uh, Connected App Authentication method. So, as discussed, right, these are the four different authentication methods in order to deploy your Mule applications to Cloud Hub. So, we have covered username and password server and we'll be covering connected apps so why why we have to go with connected apps is that uh, so so basically what i found is that you can restrict the user to different scopes only like if i if you if you use username and password of any point platform so whatever the uh, accesses that particular user is having for example say uh, if you take my username okay um, so this user is having uh, ad admin access for all the environments okay so so that means he he is able to uh, do uh, deployments or delete the applications in all the environments for example but uh, I mean let's say tomorrow we we, uh, we should restrict the users not to deploy uh, to production or not to delete the applications from production right we can have different uh, uh, we can apply different scopes to the users uh, uh, based upon the sensitivity of the environment okay so um, by using the username and password we are able to <coughs> deploy and undeploy the mule applications in different environments that we have seen <coughs> in the previous videos right so now let us go with connected app and what uh, what is the flexibility or advantage that we are going to get if we if we use a connected app um, as an authentication method uh, while deployment so we'll understand the advantages of it okay so yeah this is one of the authentication method and uh, if you see um, these are the three parameters that we can use so basically when we create a connected app right we'll get client id client secret and the grant type i mean gra grant type will be always by default a client credentials uh, but we'll get client id and client secret when we create a connected app in the endpoint platform so in order to create a connected app right uh, so the user who is creating that connected app right uh, he should have if you see here only developers who have the organization administrator permission can create apps and specify access scopes in any point platform okay now let's check if i have that yes i have it organization administrators because this is a trial account right so by default you'll have that okay now <clears throat> once you log into any point platform you have to go to access management so that is the page i am in uh, click on uh, connected apps okay so we don't have any connected apps created as of now uh, let's create one one connected app okay so create app and um, let me name this as uh, dev for example because uh, i'll be using this uh, client id and client secret for uh, deployment to dev environment okay now for the time being let's select this option app acts on its own behalf and here you have to add scopes now in order to um, add scopes right we have to uh, use these things like uh, if you find if you see right here you have lot of uh, scopes okay so this way for an user right we can we can limit his access uh, by uh, what do you say adding very less scopes or whatever the scopes he is required okay so let's add these scopes so first one is like cloud hub organization admin so click on add i mean click on this toggle button so because we need to create applications right in the runtime manager so this will be under runtime manager so add this 
and uh, read applications again it is an under runtime manager okay. yeah. delayed applications view environment and uh, view organization exchange viewer yes so click on next now this is the business group you could see here and uh, enable it and so you are creating a content app right so now uh, let's say i'll only apply or this content app is only applicable for uh, dev environment or all the all the scopes that we have added till now uh, they will be applicable only for dev environment okay so click on review and uh, add scopes click on save now if you want right we have knowledge base article uh, within help.mulesoft.com you can follow this and here here also they would have mentioned it yeah you could see here okay uh, so we have created a content app now you will get the client id uh, so i have prepared the commands already so what i will do i'll take this as client id and client secret okay uh, let me prepare the command so let me update the client id okay and uh, let me update the client secret as well so client secret client secret okay uh, before uh, we go ahead right uh, let's update the pom.xml uh, so we were using server right previously so let me remove this and uh, I'll be copying these three um, properties I have already shown you in, in the documentation itself they have mentioned connected app client secret connected app grant type and connected app client id okay so copy and uh, add it here so with this we are done with changes in pom.xml and uh, yeah so what what i have done in this application uh, success I have changed this uh, log logger value successfully deployed through mule maven plugin using content app in and the environment okay so now wherever we deploy uh, we'll get this particular response if it is successful so now let me try to uh, execute the command so this is to deploy the application through connected app so uh, for your information right uh, you have to go to this particular folder so use system explorer here and go to that but you have to be in uh, at this place okay so that is the path where i'm in and paste it if you see this uh, m1 clean deploy mule deploy and this is the dev environment you have to pass the environment and if you see in this uh, this is where i'm passing okay env and for these um, properties right uh, property placeholders so i'm passing the values from command prompt uh, as you could see here this is the client id and this is the client secret and the grant type is client credentials you need to supply this one as well so let me try to hit enter so as we have only created this country up for dev environment only uh, we should be able to deploy and yes uh, let me show you the runtime manager in uh, of dev environment uh, so i have undeployed the previous uh, application so let me go to dev okay so let me run this command now Let me pause this video 
and once is once uh, we get that build success i will enable hello guys uh, if you see here uh, this application got deployed successfully and we got build success uh, response as well uh, now let's let me try to send a request to this particular uh, new application so go into dev and let me send the request and you see we got the response and you'll also see the logger that we are printing uh, from that application in the console or in the application logs okay so this way we can deploy uh, our mule application using uh, mule maven plugin through content apps okay now let me try to um, let's say for example i'll use the same command but we'll only change uh, the environment to production and let's see if it works so Okay, so let me hit enter and let's see what happens. See, we got an error, right? Uh, you see here uh, it says user unauthorized to access requested resource so because we did not create a client app or sorry country app for uh, production environment uh, uh, we are we are not able to deploy so if you create a connected app right uh, for production as well or test as well okay so uh, you can you can deploy it to to respective environments uh, yeah so this is the advantage of uh, using country apps like now we have uh, created a country app only for dev deployment if you create another uh, country app for production deployment it will work for uh, production as well okay um, and one more thing I wanted to tell you is that uh, we can also update uh, this configuration like we can we can use the uh, country app in this way as well by updating uh, settings.xml's uh, server configuration this way uh, where you can pass the client id and client secret but instead of using these three uh, parameters what you can do you can simply use a server and you can point to this particular id uh, within pom.xml okay so th that is another way of working uh, with uh, uh, country apps uh, within Pondered XML. Okay, so I hope you understood something out of this. Uh, I'll meet you in the next video.